Hey family, welcome back to the channel. We got some things to talk about, okay? Can y'all hear me? No, not, I'm just playing. I know y'all not in the chat like before, but I miss being live with y'all, okay? So look, I guess I'm gonna have to do my own mic check and make sure I can hear myself, but you know. Anyway, let's go on. Today we are going to talk about Dr. Hellish. Messy King, okay, a little bit about um, Shanita and Melody, of course, because Shanita is male star. Yes, I said star because she will be with Mel backing her for sure, okay? And so I wanted to come on here and I wanted to talk. And also um, Mariah Huck. Huck. Is that her name, Mariah Huck? I think that's her name, okay? So um, first, let's start off with Mariah and Auntie Buffy. I think that's her name. Now, I didn't watch... Married to Medicine. I think I saw maybe one or two episodes in the past. I haven't watched them in the future. So I really can't say a whole lot about that show. But what I do know is we got messy ass, envious, jealous, miserable, mean spirited ass hellish on it. Okay. You heard me. I said we got messy ass Dr. Hellish on there. So I saw a video with Buffy and Mariah on there, and they were talking about um, Messy King and Dr. Hellish. Okay. They said Messy King and Hellish fell out, or at least that's what Auntie Buffy said. She claimed that, that Messy King and hellish fell out. Now, this video was probably about eight days ago, six or eight days ago. And so I don't know if they fell out and got back to be friends again. I really can't tell you, but I can tell you this, Messy King and hellish just dropped, dropped the video or Messy King dropped the video on his channel like a day or so ago. I want to say yesterday or so. So I don't know if this video is a video that was pre-recorded and they just he just now put it up or what i can't tell you all i know is uh buffy auntie buffy said that they fell out and they won't be filming together anymore i guess we'll have to wait and see if that's the case now if they fall out would i be surprised absolutely not because hellish is not a friend to anybody from what i can see now i know people consider friendships in different ways i just don't understand why you over there doing reviews on your show, talking about everybody on the damn show, okay? Maybe she's calmed down a little bit now, but I have seen her drag all those women on that daggone show. I don't know what kind of friends she's supposed to have or be to other friends or what kind of friends she got, but child, it could not be me. It could not be me. Now, um, she came out with a a little post where she said she's not going to be covering the show anymore on her YouTube page, right? Because her husband says so. I don't believe that, Eve. Okay. I believe Bravo told her, shut the hell up and stop talking about these ladies. However, um, she's over there on Messy King page. Is she posting on her page about other things? I don't know because I don't watch Hellish. But I'm just giving you the information, what was told. So we got to look out for that because, you know, she's on my radar now. Since she's over there with Messy King and she decided that she wants to be, you know, she wants to aid and abet him and his bull crap when it comes to Melody. Yeah, we're on her us now we're on your us okay and we're going to stay on it and now what we find out is she is over there in my opinion messing with shanita now and the reason why i say that is because shanita did a live yesterday and she said she wanted to clear some things up what she told us, and I hope one of the ladies have it here on YouTube about the live, but what she told us on that live is that she was supposed to participate in this conference that Dr. Hellish was having. And she decided that she was not going to participate because it was not a good representation of who she is as a person. What she knows is that Hellish is a full-blown hurricane mess, okay? She comes through like a hurricane and just messes everything up, okay? A full-blown hurricane mess. And so she decided, good for her, that she does not want to be associated with any person like that. It's not good for her brand. People had even told her that, you know, it wasn't a good idea. So Shanita's, you know, 
um, camp let Hellish know weeks in advance before the conference was supposed to take place. But what does Hellish do? Hellish still keeps her name on the flyer and still acts as if she's going to be at this conference. So of course, Sharita's, Shanita's, I'm sorry, Shanita's supporters come out to support her and they find out that Shanita is not at the conference. And Hellish you know, makes a statement and kind of alludes to or make it seems like uh, Shanita just didn't show up, which I think is wrong on so many, you know, it just is wrong in so many ways. For one, she's an up and coming star. She's just getting into reality TV and, you know, people got to get to know her. But hell is doing this is making it seem like she's just a no show. and She don't show up. That is not good for your reputation when you're in Hollywood, when you're doing reality TV, you know, movies, things like that. When you're in that type of industry, that is not good for your reputation. That can ruin you for a person that is fairly new, even for people that's not new. Because you remember like Monique, for instance. When she say, Monique said, child, I did. Monique said she was blackballed. And she talked about how, you know, people were saying that she was hard to work with in the industry and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Her not showing up, just being difficult, right? So this could, this could potentially be a negative thing for uh, Shanita if this was something to go around, right? So also, let's talk a little bit more about um, Hellish. But we're going to talk about Messy King and Hellish. So Messy King and Hellish on that same uh, little podcast or whatever they was doing over there on his page, y'all. You know, have, being messy. That's all the hell they be doing. They be being messy. But um, Messy King pretty much admitted to the fact that he strikes channels. Now, if you remember in one of my previous videos like a week or so ago, he sat up there and lied and said he don't strike channels. And then I showed where he did strike a channel and his name was there, but he wanted to believe, make us believe he don't strike channels. Now, here he is a week or so later. I think it's probably been a week, child. Time is flying by so fast. I can't keep up. It's been a week or so, right, when I did that video. Now, here he is a week or so later admitting to the fact that he will strike your channel, okay, if you put his podcast up. He's still telling a half-ass truth, though. He's telling half a lie, half a truth. He does strike channels. That's that's for sure. That is the truth. But the way that he says he, or the reason that he says he strike channels is not true, okay? He's talking about people putting up the whole podcast. Not true. Nobody put up his whole podcast. That's a damn lie. And from my understanding, what was told to me, even from some of my, you know, my family, the tribe over here, because that's what I call you all. Um, they told me that they were allowed to record a certain part of that meeting or that, um, what do you call it, the podcast with Mel. And then they were told to turn off their phones. And so what I was told, the part that was put out on YouTube was the part that they were supposed to be allowed to put up there. Nevertheless, he initially lied about it. And now here he is talking about some, he does strike a he'll strike the channel and all that. So you see what I'm saying? What Messy King is doing is he's showing us like he's just like those people that work for him. He's just like them. He says one thing in one minute, and then the next time you talk to him, he's saying something totally different. That's because he's a liar, and he can't keep up with his own lies. See, when you tell a lie, you got to tell another one and another one and another one. And he can't keep up with his lies because he didn't told too many damn lies, okay? It's also rumored that his newest show, Bold and Bougie, may be getting canceled because the ratings are so very low. Now, people are saying that it has been canceled, and other people are saying that they're talking about canceling. Now, I don't know because I don't work in Hollywood, okay? So until I see something concrete and definite, I don't know what's true and what's not true. But what we do know is Messy King is struggling, child. He is struggling to find his way. The king of reality can't make a good reality show to save his damn career. Isn't that crazy? How you the king of reality, but you ain't got no damn reality that's worth anything that anybody want to come and see? Because you're messy. You messy as hell. And what's happening is karma and Dama is coming to get your ass. And I also believe, since we're talking about it, I also believe that Hellish targeted 
Shanita because Shanita is Mel's up and coming star. That's why I believe I didn't put out as a representation of what we're going to talk about with Sh Shanita because I believe what's going on with Shanita is because of Melody, the jealousy and envy that Hellish and Messy King has towards Mel. What we do know a lot of times with these men, what they'll do is instead of them, you know, outright showing who they are, even though we can see Messy King, child, Stevie Wonder can see what Messy King is and what he's doing. And even though he won't come out right and do his dirty work, he will get a woman to do it. And that's what they do a lot of times when it comes to these type of men. Instead of them going after the woman directly, you know, they try to be sneaky snakes and go behind the scene, you know, and get other women to go in a, on the attack. So I believe in my opinion, y'all tell me what y'all think below. I believe that Dr. Hellish going after Shanita the way that she is with that lie, trying to ruin her reputation before she even gets started good in this industry. I believe that's coming from Messy King. I believe that they had conversations. She's messy as hell. And she probably told him and he probably told her, you know, hmm, whatever. I'm just going to leave her on there, whatever. Because I can see these two in, you know, in my mind, I can see the conversation that they're having and the two of them just falling out laughing, thinking it's the funniest thing in the world because they're both jealous and envious, insecure, immature, manipulative as demons. That's how I feel about the situation. Now, you all tell me what you think about the situation in the comments below. Do you feel like that this was something that was planned? Do you feel like this was by mistake? Do you feel like Hellish left Shanita up there, left her name up on, you know, the flyer on purpose? And also, hold on before I go. One of the things Shanita also said was Hellish said her name wrong. I think she said she said it about eight times or something where she pronounced her name wrong. Now, Hellish. You have a whole degree out here and you love to tell us how educated, child, I'm just playing y'all, how educated you are, how you have all these businesses that you started, how you have Hellish University and all that. And you mean to tell me that you cannot pronounce her name correctly. Is that what you're telling me? Child, all of a sudden your tongue is tied like thick tongue, you know, over there on Love and Merge Huntsville. Is that what you're telling me? Now, I'm going to end this video because I don't want to make the video too long, family. But I did want to come on here and just give my opinion about what's going on now. Before we go, though, you know I have to let you know, okay? If you want to become a content creator, you can reach out to me because, of course, I teach people how to become YouTube content creators. I have an ebook. It's a tips and tricks to grow your YouTube channel quickly. You can reach me here at the silver talk show at gmail.com. Let me know what you're trying to do. Now you can uh, purchase the ebook. The ebook right now is on sale with a one-on-one -on -one training class with me. So we can go over all of this. And this sale is going to last until the end of the month. So come on and get the sale, right? You can get the ebook by yourself. You can do the ebook bundle, which will be the ebook and a one on one session with me, or you can buy one on one sessions. Now, just because you may be a content creator, you can still come, you know, and find out what things you can do, little tips and tricks that you can do so that you can grow your channel. I've taken a lot of time out of publishing on my channel, doing videos, because I really want to help other potential content creators to be able to come on YouTube and get another stream of income the same way I have. Okay. So it is very affordable. I made it affordable purposely because I want all of us to get here on YouTube. Now y'all come on and get some of this Google money. Okay. Cause they got plenty of it. You do to make me stay. Now it's like you don't even try. I used to wonder why, but now I'm left with no more tears to cry.
your all into all that you do. It's only right, it's what I deserve. Look.